Hey guys, it's me Dave back uh, with another tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you, and you can see in the background, how to get to infinite uh, glowstone. Uh, you can see I have a little setup here. Uh, this was actually done uh, by Hypnotized uh, from the Hermit Craft first, but I'm going to show you how to set this up so that you can, you can get this going. Uh, so as you can see, basically my turtle is breaking this glowstone every time it creates, uh, and he's dumping it into the system. The system's filling up with glowstone dust. So let me terminate this guy for a second. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to need two things that are going to take a little bit longer to get is the glowstone and the uh, the gelid cry cryothium. Uh, what this is going to do is when it touches the glowstone, uh, liquid glowstone, it makes a glowstone block, and then the turtle is just breaking it. So I'm going to show you how to set that up real quick. It's turning night already. There we go. It's weird, dark. All right. So the gelid cryothium. We're gonna get that from using a magma crucible on cryothium dust. Cryothium dust is made from a snowball, redstone dust, saltpeter, and blizz powder. It makes two of those. And the blizz powder is gotten from uh, is obtained from blizz rods, which come from uh, they're like uh, they look like the uh, blaze blazes but they're they're cold you just have to find those out in the wild uh, but using that sh shapeless crafting would be two of those if you pulverize them you get you get four this is the best situation right here is to use the the pulverizer because you get four blizz powder plus a snowball uh, which you're gonna need in the crafting of cryothium anyway the other thing you need is the energized glowstone And that is right here. You can see it's an empty bucket or upside down bucket. Um, and let's see where we get that. Use a magma crucible on glowstone or glowstone dust, and you get the energized glowstone. So as you can see, I have a ME system set up here. I'm just going to use this anyway. Um, but what I did was the when you place down the energized glowstone, it flows up. All right. So let me just break that so that goes away. What you're going to do is you're going to set this up so that it you don't want the source block to ever get hit by this or it'll go away um, you're gonna set this up so that uh, put one block there and have it flow right here there's a, there's a block so that it falls out and goes up uh, the cryothium will flow one two three four blocks before it stops I think it'll actually go one more but it gets hit by that but uh, place that down so that it flows over kind of like a cobblestone generator but it's gonna be a glowstone generator so this this guy, and you can see right here. I'll, oops, I'll block that off, and I'll place a new one once it goes away. Boop. So that goes away, and then that starts to flow over here. If I break that, you'll see when it touches it. Oops, don't want that to happen. Uh, it'll create a glowstone block. Now what I'm using is I tried the um, transition plane from ME to do this, but it it's, it grabs the uh, the actual liquid glowstone before it becomes a block more times than not so it's not really viable solution so what I'm using is uh, just a mining turtle any type of mining turtle will work I just grab the advanced one it doesn't matter and this is the program I'm using so while true do the turtle will detect if there's something in front of it then it will dig and then it'll drop down what it dug what it what it dug otherwise give it a 0.5 second sleep time and then end and this will just continually go over and over and over um, so we'll run that and you can see right there it grabs glowstone and then immediately drops it into this uh, this chest below this chest below is then being imported from a precision import bus into our system and you can see that this is just filling up with glowstone dust um, I did run into issues in survival where sometimes this this uh, source block would go away. Uh, if it was too close to here, it would freeze and become a solid block. So the further away you keep that, the better. Um, but it's not like it's hard to obtain, so you can grab that pretty easily and just put down a new block when you need it. See how it flows up. But that's how you're going to get infinite glowstone. Uh, this guy is just going to continually do this forever. He'll grab glowstone dust, drop it into the barrel, or the the 
chest and then the chest will be imported into your system and you can just let this sit here you can set up multiple of these but uh, this guy alone I mean I've, I've only been doing this for a little while and I've got a ton of glowstone dust already very simple very easy way to get glowstone and glowstone dust um, these are not difficult to obtain the finding the blizzes is, is a little bit more difficult than uh, it should be but if you do miscraft worlds you can find those pretty easily and then you can start uh, uh, auto spawning them to get the the blizz rods that you need so I uh, just want to give you a quick tutorial hopefully this was helpful uh, show you how to get oh you can see the guy way up in the air there infinite glowstone dust uh, fairly easy and relatively mid game not really an end game thing it's pretty easy to do this early on so uh, if this was helpful leave a comment in the comment section give me a thumbs up and check out my channel for more tutorials as well as some LPs and like always good luck and have fun